And thus, we shall continue on with our adventure in Tales of Asteria with myself, your host Nobby. When we last left off, we learned some new stuff about uh, Heldorf's past. Apparently, the one who started this all, the one who made uh, Heldorf the Lord of Calamity, the one who made him invincible, was actually a shepherd. It is a little bit of a surprise, but, uh, yep, I guess we shall continue on and see if there is anything else that we can learn about uh, Heldorf's past over here. We shall see, unless uh, we're gonna, we're gonna be exiting this particular place. The others are just gonna stand here. I'm getting blocked over here. <laughs> I'm getting, I'm getting stuck in places over here. Let's see, can I talk to you people over here? Nope, you're just gonna sit there. Like a bunch of dolls over there. <gasps> it's Gramps! My goodness! What happened? Gramps! Such thick malevolence. I feel sick. Malevolence of this impossible magnitude can only mean one thing. Not now, tell us! Born far too early by the looks of it. Poor mother and child. Neither of you deserved this. Perhaps this, too, is fate. The baby. It's flying! That child's human! Are we not all the same when we first breathe this air? Save for the vessel we chance into? But a child born so premature won't last but a few months. Probably so. Zenrus! Muse! My goodness! What happened here? I'm afraid there's no time to explain. We have to seal off the malevolence before it drifts into Elysia. Who's that child? S Celine's? Could it be she... She was with child? In order to contain Mount Tellus within this land, you would be the sacrifice to seal the path to Elysia? But Mount Tellus is using the land itself as his vessel. Even if we can trap him here, it would be no more than empty consolation. I understand, but even so, this is something that we humans have brought upon ourselves. And the Shepherd? I take it that the Shepherd has finally fallen? That may be so, but fate has blessed us with a thread of hope. You don't mean to say you will raise these children to become the Shepherd and his sub-lord? For a human and a seraph child raised together, anything is possible. However, it all depends on these children. I humbly accept your two small beacons of hope. Gramps! Zenrus, I have not the words to thank you! Farewell. Dearest child, Miklio. Gramps! So, Saray, you were a survivor from that village. And our boy Mickey was refashioned into a seraph. So I was a sacrifice. You can cry if you want. Why would I cry? I'm surprised, to be sure, but I'm not sad. And now we know where Maltellus is. Now the only thing left is our answer. Right. So does this mean we've found it? I know now what path I want to take. Though I'm not sure that counts as an answer. 
Very well then. Let's consult with Maven once more. Hey, where'd he go? Just a little while ago, he was activating the hidden powers of this monolith. He's probably still around here somewhere. You're right. Let's go look for him. Yes, I guess we shall look for him. The monolith that repeats history. Come to think of it, I wonder how this monolith works. How do you think it activates the Earth and Historia? Probably because this is an Earth Pulse Nexus, don't you think? Earth Pulse? <laughs> I'll let Terror Firma herself do the explaining. The Earth Pulse is a manifestation of the power of Mother Nature that permeates the Earth. Exactly! Logren has been known for centuries as a spot where several branches of the Earth Pulse intersect. If you're already such an expert, why call on me? Because when you say it, it's that much more adorable. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. So, the Earth in Historia is reacting to the Earth Pulse. Um, could you repeat that in English for dumb bums like me? Well, um... Okay, let's say instead that there's all this water bubbling up here. Then the Earth in Historia would be like a water wheel. When the wheel goes round, it grinds out the record of history, just like it was milling grains. Oh, okay. Makes sense to me. But then why are the Earth and Historia behaving like a water wheel? Uh, probably... I told you. The Earth Pulse is the power of the Earth. Oh, I see. So if Maltellus made the Earth and Historia, and he's using the Earth itself as his vessel... Then probably it's the force of his will that's making them do that. I see. Well, actually, we can uh, check this a little bit more. A strange power emanates from the monolith. Also, my battery is gonna die soon for my phone. Actually, that's not good at all. Uh, the hydrogen glows with a fiery light in response to the monolith's power. Uh, record of the green iris gem. Oh, actually, hold on. We have some stuff over here. Record of the yellow iris gem. Is this actually gonna show us? Okay, we already seen this before. Are you sure you want to skip it? Yes, definitely. We already seen this before. Well, I guess that means we can also look at the um, uh, at the iris gem um, cutscenes once again here. I don't know if we're gonna be able to find them. Like. Uh, if we are able to see them all, I'm not really sure. But uh, yeah, we have some more chests over here that we can only open. So let's see uh, if Maven has anything for us to say. But not before we see this kit as well. Learning the truth. What a sad turn of affairs. There was more to it than just Heldolf and the Shepherd Michael. So many factors converged to bring about that disaster. What happened to that village was so ghastly, you can sort of see how Michael finally came to do what he did. But still, no one except maybe his closest friends ought to buy I was in the depths of my despair as an excuse. Right. The actions he took that day changed the fates of millions. That's true. It was his thoughtless curse of eternal solitude that paved the way for Kittybeard to become the Lord of Calamity. Without the curse, Old Sourpuss never would have hated the world so much. Never would have wanted it to turn into a world of Hellions. You can't blame the people of Highlander Rollins for seeing him as a monster. But I get the sense that deep down, in his own misguided way, he just wants to bring peace to his country. Some of the blame, too, has to go to the former Shepherd for keeping secret the fact that he'd spirited Mautelis away. Because of that, Folks who didn't know the true situation wound up desecrating the shrine and causing Mautelis to transform into a Hellion. That's right. If they'd only talked about it more openly, there might have been better understanding and cooperation. It also looks like the former Shepherd didn't really trust anyone other than his own flesh and blood. To those who believed in the Shepherd, I can think of no greater wound. True enough. He may have genuinely wanted every one of them to be happy. But if he never shared this desire with anyone, then... Regardless of Michael's circumstances, it doesn't change the fact that what Heldalf did was unspeakably cruel. That he would toss strangers to the wolves just to further his own interests. None of this comes down to black and white, that's for sure. Well, Maven told us just to feel and experience what had happened. 
We'll go tell him what we felt. Yes, we shall definitely go tell him what we have learned. Quite a lot of uh, conflict in the past. Lots of misunderstanding and such. Quite a lot of things that the former shepherd thought that he could he could do great, but in the end it didn't really help the future. My lord. I guess it's up to me to solve everything here. Try to stop Kitty Beard from the from destroying the world. You're back. Dear Lord. What are you doing here? Oh, I just wanted to make sure the monolith doesn't get damaged. Your thoughts? No one involved was fully in the wrong, but no one was really right either. That's how it felt to me. A useful understanding to reach. Now, your answer. Saray, let us hear your answer to this. My answer is I want to save Heldolf. The Shepherd's job doesn't just boil down to quell the Lord of Calamity, or even clean up the previous Shepherd's mistakes. When Malevolence consumes Seraphim and turns them into Hellions, we save them. Yet when it brings misfortune and grief to humans, we say they only have themselves to blame. It doesn't seem fair. So that is your answer. Don't know if it counts as one. There are humans out there just like Heldolf. He just happened to play one part in a cascade of terrible events. I'm not gonna say you shouldn't sympathize with him. But I will say it would strike me as bizarre to completely let him off the hook for the horrors he brought to such a peaceful village. And what he's trying to do now is still messed up, right? Absolutely. It's wrong, period, and I will stop it. But even so, you would save this man? If I won't save humans like Heldolf, who've had Hellionhood thrust upon them, I'll never see humans and Seraphim live in peace. I see. So then you... Really are an idiot. Yep. Saray is Saray, and we love him for it. That's right. He couldn't be anyone else even if he tried. So, Mr. Teller, that what you were looking for? For such a man, ending his loneliness would be the sole path to salvation. Do you understand what that means? Taking his life, I would expect. Saray, can you carry that burden with you? Indeed. That, even more than your answer, is the crucial matter. Right. What's important now is whether you truly will not waver. Or rather, whether you truly believe in your answer and are willing to accept its repercussions. No matter what happens, and no matter what cost. Wait, are you asking him to prove his determination in battle? Put bluntly, yes. In order to defeat one who has been abandoned in time, the bonds of strength must be severed. Show me how that is done. Defeat the one who has been abandoned in time? You can't be talking about... How to sever the bonds of strength. So eternal loneliness is a curse, you say? It makes sense now. Old man. Now then, show me. All right. Well, I guess uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have to fight him over here. Level of fifty-six person over here with no resistance and weakness. Let's see what Siri has uh, has in store for us. What he has to say. He keeps us pinned down with his projectile attacks. Maybe the best way is to move in closer. Hmm. I don't know. Whoa there, Saray. You can bet the old fella has more than one trick up his sleeve, baby. If you're going to get near him, be very careful. Hmm. Okay, so... If you're going to get him near him, be very careful. He keeps us pinned down with his projectile attacks. So the best way would be to be as close to him as possible, but not all the time. I guess that would be the only... Uh, thing that I should focus on. 
certainly won't. But even if there is a way to sever the bonds of strength... And if we were to actually use it... Then what would happen to you? Do you see why it is you waver? Settle this, Shepard! Do not let Maven's conviction go to waste! All right. Well, I guess we shall... Oh man, I'm stunned over here. I thought that the Mabel will stand there for a second. But yeah, I am also having a little bit of a problem here with the timer. I don't have the battery for my phone anymore, so I don't really have a timer anymore. But I guess... Uh, I guess there are gonna be some stuff going on after we are... After we're gonna fight... Um, uh, Maven over here. And probably after that I'm gonna end the episode and do a bunch of other stuff. Oh yeah, Aperius Ray is gonna try and um, try to save Helda, and I I'm actually wondering a little bit like how we did try to purify like much much stronger Hellions in the past, but we couldn't. I guess only time will tell, and if Saray is gonna become stronger enough to save Helda, if not then. We're gonna use the old Trikaru and kill him, try to save him from eternal loneliness and such. But okay, let me just uh, go here a little bit, try to use this and... Uh, well, actually, let me see about, um, you know, try to use like uh, my mystic art over here. Oh man. Okay, well, at least I did that. There you go. My bow is ahead! The vortex swallows you! Aqualinate! Haha! <laughs> Alright, did a bunch of damage over there. Let me just uh, go as Rose over here. Gonna do my Mystic Art over here as well in just a second. Oh man! Whoa! What just happened there? Holy moly moly moly! Okay, let me just uh, like switch some characters over here if possible. Um, okay, well. Uh, Zavi doesn't really have like PG over here yet, so Rose is still gonna be down there for a second, for a little bit. Meanwhile, I'm just gonna shoot him with this. Like, why not? Oh wow, Zavi did something there. My lord. Ow! 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 No kidding. He can. He can do what? Oh my! Oh no. Oh my goodness gracious, I didn't expect him to do like... Okay, well you know what, I guess I'm, I guess I'm gonna use a grape gel of a... Grape gel? Mm. Eh, okay, well I guess I'm gonna use a grape gel, why not? Oh, holy moly, I didn't think that he's gonna do like a mystic art over here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It does bring some challenge over here. Alright, well, there you go. I'm gonna show that I am a better shepherd than you think, Maven. I'm gonna show you my true power over here. Okay, well, you know what? Let me just uh, switch here a little bit. Uh, come on. There you go. Time to use my uh, my awesome possum. Actually, let me just uh, attack him a little bit. Try to get into my awesome possum mystic uh, like um, armatization with Edna over here and do some uh, punches over here. Oh my goodness! Gr oh, okay. Okay, well that apparently killed her. Uh, uh oh. Be careful, Mikio. Jesus Christ! Where is it getting all this, all those uh, like uh, objects from? He's throwing like dishes at me. My God! Well, not only throwing, but there's like a rain of dishes over here. Look at this! What kind of attack is that? Oh my no! You gotta be kidding me! Wow! I thought that I had it! Stupid old man! Okay. Well, you know what? Time to defeat him once again, my... Alright. I'm just gonna go with those guys, why not? Ready? Yes, I am definitely ready. Time for some more dishes to be thrown. Let's see if we are able to do our super duper mystic art over here. I probably should have started with this. Probably should have started with uh, using uh, Edna's um, armatization over here because we're already doing some some stuff over here. Try to try to stay as close as possible uh, uh, over here. There you go. There you go. Do as much damage as possible. Ha! 
ガムカムのエレファントガンエレファントギャドリングガンオーケーオーケーえー、ちょっとチーズアイゲティングジョグルトオーヴィアオーオーオーオーヒーズヒーズガンエンドアップドゥインダッツトゥペタクオーライトランペンチンジャイアントジュストライトオーガーノーヒーズガンドゥダッツアストゥペタオーノーファー<laughs> That stupid attack! For the love of God! And I, and I did that a lot faster. He was almost、uh, close to dying over here. But... Alright, another Earth Revolution over here. He has like 8,000、uh, health over here. Oh, here's the thing. Oh, you got. <clears throat> Hey, Lord! Um, you know, you, you should probably use a r m a t i z a t i o n over here. Yes, there you go. You don't even need to. I don't even need to switch to you in order to a r m a t i z e You can do a r m a t i z e yourself, you know. I guess I'm gonna have to do it myself over here. Now, here's the thing in case、uh, he does that、uh, rain of dishes at me. Ah, he's. And he does that. No! Oh, no! It's.、Uh, Oh, come on, you gotta be kidding me. He has some awesome attacks over here, not gonna lie. There you go. I'm just gonna do this, just to try to be careful here, my lord. Alright. Whenever he does that、uh, dish attack, I'm gonna, gonna try and. Uh oh. No.、It、definitely doesn't look good. You better armatize here, Rose and Zavid. I know that it's not d e z z l e but you gotta work together as best as possible. I think they are doing just fine over here. There we go, Rising Sand, Echo, Monolithic、uh, Current. Oh, hey, I'm using the powers of the monoliths to attack him. I guess that's,、uh, that's definitely something. Alright. Okay, I didn't tell you to. Oh, you gotta be kidding me, no! Oh, wow, okay. I guess it wasn't really me who did that. And、uh, I guess David、uh, and Rose that、uh, healed them. Themselves there. There you go. What I want to see is not a mere display of strength. So you really are immortal? You understand by now, don't you, the way to defeat me? Yes. Turn my friends into attacks with wills of their own and use those attacks to pierce through the bonds of strength. What Dazzle said he did. Then why aren't you doing it? I'm not a Hellion. Even if you make use of that means, your friends will not be consumed with malevolence. <laughs> you won't admit it. After all, to demonstrate that method upon me is tacit acknowledgement that it is your only option withheld off as well. But, Maven, isn't there any other way at all? No. Even Lila's power is not enough to purify one as consumed with malevolence as he is. You should know that. s a r a y Rose. If you weigh lives on scales, you will falter at the crucial moment. All the more so if it is your friend's lives in question. But if you do waver, and your wavering leads you to a faulty answer, you may never recover. In this way, does virtue become vice? <sighs> But if you will die for the answer you truly believe in, even failure will not stop you from rising again. What you should fear is not failure, but rather that fear itself will compromise your belief in your answer. Lila. Now then, s a r a y If you intend to make this a farce, then I shall end it! Show me! Not just with words! But with the spirit of belief! Uh oh. I shall end this! Luminous s a b e r It is a damned shame, Lila. Unfortunately, it looks like they still don't understand. So, it was all for naught. No, just a little bit more. 
Even when they resented their own helplessness. Even when they grieved for a fallen comrade. Even when evil schemed to lead them astray. Saray and his companions have pushed ever on, never losing themselves. Knowing fear, but not malevolence, they came all this way to stand here together. You're really something. I don't like having regrets, and I don't like giving them to other people either. Don't you forget it. Saray, Rose, you paralyzed or something? Going up against Hellions is already life or death. It shouldn't be new to you. Edna... Savid... It's just as they said, Rose. Saray, do you remember what I told you? Back at Lady Lake? I didn't come all this way just to be a liability. I said it before. Do I need to say it again? No. If the Shepherd Saray truly believes in his answer, then surely may he bring an end to the Age of Chaos. Then show us. Show us your answer. Saray! Saray! Everyone. You have good friends, lad. Darn right. Let's go! Come at me! Darn right, I have my great companions over here. Well, let me just uh, do this. Maven! This is... My answer! Old man! Maven? I thought I could hold out until you finished it. But... Maven? Oh, I'm so sorry it came to this. You're an idiot too. You're... not wrong. But I... have no regrets. What's going on? What are you saying? Come on! It's because I violated the taboo. If the user breaks the terms of the oath, the special powers granted by the oath likewise vanish. You should have told us. Please, do not blame Lila. She merely did what she believed was right for all of you. And it was my decision to make as well. I believe too. In my answer, and in my friends. And for their sake, I will not waver in what must be done, so there will be no regrets. It is time to say our farewells. I promise. I'll never forget what you've told me, Maven. And I'll teach it to others as well. Saray, you... <sighs> never did I imagine I would die with others by my side. Thank you.